Hey what's up guys welcome back to my youtube channel and in this video we will see how can we create two uh, important type of list first one is this expandable list and second one is this sticky list so if you are working in uh, on any real world uh, application then uh, you will face this kind of difficulty when you need some kind of list where you have some items and uh, some other items uh, under that item so you can uh, be uh, like implement uh, this uh, sticky list where the one item will be on the top and then uh, it will have some uh, uh, child items and uh, 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 apart from that you can have an expandable list where you will click on one item and then it will have some more items so this is what we are going to implement so before proceeding to this tutorial let me also show you that we have a facebook group where we have uh, a lot of uh, people joining and uh, you, here you can ask a question and answer and uh, definitely someone will give you an answer here so you can join this group via the link in the description and also we have this flutter example apps repository where you will have a lot of uh, applications already with their video tutorial as well as this source code so this is kind of a unique thing because you will not get video tutorials uh, anywhere with the source code so this is what you can give uh, you can um, star because we have already have 200 stars thank you for that and uh, this is a good way to go with flutter so now back to the tutorial so right now we have this uh, uh, this home page where we have uh, two buttons in the column first one is the expandable list button and second one is sticky list uh, sticky header list as you can see on the uh, right hand side and when we are clicking on this button then we are using the navigator class to go to another class where which is this header page where we have uh, two situations first one is the if the title is expandable list then we are calling this expandable list and uh, otherwise we are calling this sticky list widget okay so we have this expandable list and then sticky list which is not yet implemented so if i will click here then you can see it is blank and the header is exactly what we are going to implement so here in the expandable list what we can do we can rather container we can return list view dot builder okay it will take an item builder where we can pass the context comma index okay and here we can actually call expansion tile okay this expansion tile is a widget which will take a header okay so we can have a title so here we can say let's say new text and let's give it a header let's say header and we can use this dollar and dollar okay and i so that we can give some headers and apart from the title it also takes uh, something which is called children of widgets okay so here you can provide a list of widgets which will be inside every header okay so what we can do we can create a list here for uh, which, which will be a children list so here we can say new list dot from okay dot generate we can give it a length let's say give it a length of 10 and for generator we can say i and let's take an take an element with text item one two three similarly okay let's make it final also because okay now here in the children what we can do we can map this with our list okay we can say dot to list and here it will pass us the value okay and then using this value we can create a list tile and here we can have a title as well and here we can say value okay so this is our expansion tile now we also need uh, to give an item count here so for item count let's make it 5 okay so we are done with this expansion list so now i will if i will click on this expansion list you can see we have five headers 0 1 2 3 4 okay and also we can do it i plus 1 and here also i plus 1 no i plus 1 okay now if you can see here okay sorry let me just uh, do something like this
okay so that we can get the exact value not the uh, string concatenation okay now it is good so now let's uh, let's see so we have header 1 header 2 header 3 header 4 and header 5 they also have one arrow on the right hand side which is the arrow down and uh, when i will click on this header 1 you can see this has expanded the list which has further 10 elements inside it and here you can see all the list have 10 items and it is looking good right so this is our expandable list and uh, similarly we can do the same thing for sticky list but sticky list is a little sticky and for that what we need we need a very good library which someone has created I, I went through that library and it is very good so here what we will do we will use sticky underscore headers okay and we will get this library and uh, yeah so done so now let's just uh, switch to this library by importing uh, sticky if we can get something like that well, we need to check whether we have some sticky headers or not uh, package there should be something called sticky header I don't know why it is not there it should be there or maybe let's try to use it okay we haven't got the dependency yet that is the problem that is why we are not able to get it okay now let's try again one more time and now we have this sticky headers dot dart uh, which is kind of uh, okay now what we can do here rather than container we can say a sticky header builder okay okay let's see what what's inside in this builder it has something called builder then content so here in the builder i guess it will take a context and an i for index right let's just see yeah so it is taking a double as well okay that's not an issue here we can say a new text okay and again we can call it header and uh, we can use this dollar sign and i okay so this is our builder then apart from builder we have this content let's use this here in the content what we can do we can uh, uh, use this uh, same list let's just copy it and paste it here okay now here we can say list dot map okay and uh, i guess we can use a list view as well what do you say let's try this okay so here we can have a value first of all which will take a new list style and we can give it a value in the text again this will work for both dart1 and dart2 so you don't have to worry about that right so uh, a one second something happened so we have this uh, list tile oh what what is it expecting it is expecting a kind of widget so let's just delete this from here one second guys and this should work right okay let's do one thing let's just delete this piece of code first of all and it is asking us for a widget uh, for a widget so let me just try one more time so we can say this whether it works or not so it will not work because it will give it as a list which is it does not want that so it want a content okay so we can say new uh, maybe column okay now here we can have children okay and in the children we can say that list dot map okay dot to list and here in the map we can pass the value we can map the value with a new list style list style okay and here with the title 
we can set that text to value so this is what we need to do now let's uh, performing the hot reload and then let's click on expandable list once again it is working now click on this sticky header list and it gave us error okay so it is saying that uh, this is not true this is uh, something wrong with this so what 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 could be the problem so let's uh, try to understand that so maybe because uh, we are providing it there should not be any issue actually we have this sticky header okay I guess we missed the um, this should be not builder this should be like uh, there should be a I don't know what's the issue okay we forgot one thing which is like I guess which is the maybe the list view builder we need to attach that in the list view builder this can be one thing otherwise this builder should work right what what's the issue we are getting uh, we are getting sticky headers widget dot dot is not something we got let's see what else we have this should work I mean there is nothing we have left so it should have worked let's try again let's try to run this again and uh, then oh this is not working let's do one more thing let's test this with the uh, wrapping with a new widget which is a list view dot builder because maybe this is not understanding what we want to say okay so here in the uh, builder what we can have so this list view dot builder will take an item builder of course and then in that item we can actually do all the things so let me just uh, copy this from here cut this from here to here okay this is fine and now it can take a sticky header rather than header builder because that builder is not working for me i don't know why there may be some issue with my implementation but uh, i don't know if that's the issue and uh, now what we can do um uh, what we can do let me just uh, copy this text from here to here that's fine right uh, we are just having a text here and in the container let's just uh, copy this to list from here let me delete all of the stuff which is not necessary now uh, this much this one as well one second guys this is a lot of boilerplate code inside this so here okay so it is not taking the builder why item builder sorry so we need to fix it item builder okay now we are done and one more error is remaining probably because of this yeah so here in the content we will paste this and now it is giving me another error let's just try to fix it yeah so we are done with this let's try to rerun this app and now let's see if that works or not and here guys we have this header with a uh, I don't know what why this is sticking like this but okay let's do one thing let's uh, make it inside a container okay new container where we will have a child as well as we can have a padding also so we can give it a padding of all so we can say 8.0 now if you will see we have this header 0 let's just scroll okay it is not coming from below of it right it should be below so there should be something which can you know stop it from going through that particular portion and uh, for that I guess so we need to give it a height so that it can uh, uh, stop it from uh, going from here to there so what we can do here in this case I guess oh, this is working fine with this particular portion but it is actually crossing this part right so if I will just scroll more 
okay so it is stick there and this is not an issue so what we can do here we can add a padding here as well let me just uh, give it a padding okay so here what we can say <coughs> we can say not all we can say only and from the top we can give it a padding of let's say 18 maybe or uh, no it is sufficient because we have taken it up above that and now it is okay it is again going on the top because uh, this both of these things inside the list view so maybe that is the reason but again guys uh, so this is uh, we need to fix it somehow we will fix it there should not be any kind of issue with that i know the implementation is not properly done maybe or i am missing something i don't know what what's the issue here but uh, maybe that is why it is happening or what we could do we could uh, um give it some kind of height to this particular header then maybe it can fix it so let's try one more time and uh, let's give it a height of let's say 40 maybe okay now if i will scroll it so it is passing that okay and because these both are text so it is messing with them so we will see how to fix that because uh, that is something we need in any situation and uh, that that can be, uh, actually make it a uh, little bit worse and this is about the sticky header i'll i'll see what can be done and if you if you get any idea then you can also comment what's what's the problem here i don't know what's the problem how can because maybe i i guess it is because in the list view so it is scrolling all of this stuff but it should not scroll that uh, header uh, as well so maybe i'm missing something so sorry for that but uh, again uh, this is what we can do with this list view and i hope that you enjoyed this video because we implemented this expandable list and the sticky header list so that's it guys uh, that's it from this video and also you can you know add colors to this header and everything so you can do that later also check the github repo and that uh, i'll see in the next video that's it I'll, I'll come with more videos also so bye bye take care and have fun